We are all tired of the current state of the world and how the pandemic maintains a tight grip on our lives. Here are the six logical steps of how the pandemic will end. I'm Dr. Bertolo Meshko, and this is a future bit from The Magical Futurist. I've been saying this since the beginning of the pandemic. 2021 is going to be a harder year than the last one was. In 2020, there was simply no hope. We just waited for the miracle to happen. But now that the miracle arrives in the form of vaccinations, why haven't we gone back to normal like this? Today, I want to give you a clarity of where we are heading next and what are the six steps of getting to the end of the COVID pandemic. The first major step we can look forward to is when the coronavirus becomes just another endemic virus in our communities, constantly present, spreading only at the baseline level without causing major disruption to people's lives. For the next few years, we simply have to learn to live with the virus. Dr. Fauci expressed it too, that we wouldn't be able to eradicate COVID-19 anytime soon, but we will tame it and maintain control over it. Second, when I say we have to learn to live with the virus, by no means do I mean continuing the present struggle. When the virus becomes endemic, it will be almost like a seasonal flu. That's how the Spanish flu ended too, which, believe it or not, is still part of the flu strains today. Covid will stay with us, we will be aware of it, but our lives can continue. And in that way, we can say that the coronavirus becomes endemic when we can meet each other again and pick up our lives where we left off. Third, we can meet each other when we can lift restrictions and lockdowns. Currently, there are different measures in different countries. The UK is in strict lockdown, while the people of New Zealand can go about as if there was never a virus at all. Fourth, we will lift restrictions when we can successfully reduce the pressure on healthcare. That's the crux of the whole thing. Healthcare systems around the world are not designed for the influx of that many patients. That's why COVID is a real killer, not the more palliative rate by itself. Our healthcare systems are overburdened and on the brink of collapse. Governments are trying their best to avoid the worst scenario where new patients would not get access to healthcare. Fifth, we can reduce the pressure on healthcare when we surely don't get seriously ill and we won't be needing intensive therapy after being infected. Today, there are way too many people who would be in need for hospitalization in case of an infection. If they all need a hospital bed, in a relatively short amount of time, the death toll would be horrifying. But once those people will gain immunity, and we can say that even if they catch the virus, they won't get seriously ill, that's the day we can claim victory. And finally, the obvious. To avoid getting seriously ill, we simply need to get vaccinated. Unlike common beliefs, the virus can cause serious problems for people of all ages. And even if it doesn't, we can all spread it to someone vulnerable. To get through this, we all need to get vaccinated and gain immunity as a species, together. Now, the time for vaccines to be available for everyone is around the corner. The only thing we lack now is the collective determination to take it. That's what we need. Because all these steps that I mentioned come down to the individual level whether you are going to be vaccinated. That's the only way we can end this thing and turn a page on this weird time in our lives. We also made an infographic of this too that you can check out in the link below. Please feel free to share it. Thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe below and don't forget to tap the notification bell too so you will get notified about all new videos. Thanks.